Good morning, ESM. Today is Thursday, May 6th, and I'm going to be with you for news and announcements. Attention seniors, all of you who ordered a senior variety shirt need to pick them up in Ms. Kiwanis' room in B36. Now here are our top headlines. A new law has been signed allowing New Yorkers that were released from prison to vote. Previously, prisoners that were released would have to wait a long period of time before being able to vote. Now, as soon as they are free, they can head straight to the polls and cast their votes. On Wednesday, a 24-year-old University of Kentucky student named Gabby Smith, a second-year medical student, was found dead at the bottom of a 150-foot cliff in Red River Gorge. The student went missing after she went hiking two days ago and didn't return home. Search and Rescue were able to ping her phone and discover her body. During the coronavirus pandemic, there's an urgent need for blood donors. On Friday, May 7th, which is tomorrow, the fire department on Howlett Hill Road, right outside of Fairmount, will host a blood drive from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. It will be in partnership with the American Red Cross. Pre-registration will be required. Go to redcrossblood.org and enter your zip code to make an appointment or call 1-800-733-733. 2767 for more information. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. National Honor Society blood drive here on the 18th. So stay tuned for more information. Uh, the weather this week is going to stay pretty mild uh, with some cold temperatures staying with a high around 50 today and some more rain later in the week. So today has a high of around 57 with some sun uh, but mostly clouds especially towards the end of the day. Friday is going to be a little colder, and then this weekend we're going to have highs in the low 50s with that rain continuing. Sunday is going to be a little more sunny with a high near 60, and then the beginning of next week we're going to be back into those low to mid 50s with some rain on Monday, a little more sun on Tuesday, and then Wednesday a high of 60 and sunny. And I'm Allie with your weather. Because of the pandemic, many classes have had their regions canceled, but not all were canceled by New York State. The regions that have not been canceled are English Language Arts Regions on June 17th, Living Environment on June 22nd, Algebra 1 June 23rd, and Earth Science June 24th. If you are taking any of those classes, make sure to ask your teacher what time you'll need to show up at the school. over Auburn last night. Leading the way were quadruple event winners Rocky L and Bennett Ferrari. The Spartans clinched the meet in the last event as the 4x400 relay team of Aiden Hurt, Luke Mancini, Sol Schofield, and Bennett Ferrari finished off the Maroons. Up next is Fowler on Monday. The girls track team also improved to a 3-0 record beating Auburn last night. Kaylee Maloof won all her running events which were the 110 hurdles, the 4x100 relay, and got first in pole vault and got second in triple jump. Rain and Butchko won all her events, which were the high jump, long jump, and 4x100 relay. The baseball team lost 11-0 yesterday against Auburn. 
After a rough start to the season in the last 15 games, the New York Yankees are 11-4, which is the best span in Major League Baseball this year as they beat the Houston Astros 6-3. As Giancarlo Stanton is on an 11-game hitting streak, as last night he went 3-4, for four, had one home run, and then four RBIs. In upcoming games, the baseball team has a game against CNS. The boys' tennis team has a match against Syracuse City. The softball team has their senior night against Corbin. Boys' lax has a game against Auburn, and the girls' lax team has a game at Auburn. And I'm Luke with your sports. So that's all that we have for you guys today. So from me and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a great day.